Today I wanted to show you a really neat tool that I know not everybody is going to find useful, but I think it's pretty cool from a security standpoint for those of you that do work on machines and you drop to a TTY, which is a virtual terminal, a virtual console, and uh, sometimes you have to leave that machine and you don't want anybody else to come to that machine where you're already logged into this TTY as whatever user. You know, you want to be able to lock that virtual console down. Well, there's a program that can do this. It's called VLock. So let me show you this program in action. Let me switch over to this virtual machine of Ubuntu here. And of course, we're in a graphical environment. We're actually just going to drop to a TTY in a second. But since I had to log into the graphical environment, let's go ahead and sudo apt install VLock here in this terminal inside GNOME. And VLock is the name of the package in Debian and Ubuntu-based distributions. VLock is also the name of the package inside Fedora. So you need to install VLock to get the VLock program. On Arch Linux, you need to install a package called KBD. That is found in the core repositories for Arch. And once you install KBD, then you should have access to the VLock command. So let me go ahead and switch to a TTY. So uh, I'm in Vert Manager here. So I'm going to go to the menu here for Send Key. And I'm going to do Control Alt F3. And that gets me to TTY3 here. And I'm going to go ahead and log in as my home user, which is the DT user here. Let me go ahead and scale the display. So hopefully you guys can read that a little better. Make this full screen. And the way VLock works out of the box is, let me man VLock, it has a few flags and options here. So we have a dash A for lock all console sessions, dash C to lock the current session, dash S to disable the sysrq function. And really, those are about it. I mean, there's a few other flags, but those flags I just mentioned are the most common. So just VLock with nothing else. No other flags is actually the VLock dash C command, the, the current command. What this does is now this TTY, the current TTY session we're in, it's locked. You see it says press enter to unlock. So what you would do is press enter and then it's going to ask you for the user that was logged into this session, his password. So let me enter DT's password and now it is unlocked. But let me rerun the VLock command. So we've locked TTY3 here and then let me get out of full screen. I'm going to switch over to TTY4 here with Control Alt F4. And you see, I can log in just fine here, right? There's no lock here. But if I go back to TTY3, you know, it's still locked. So VLock with no flags is just locking the current virtual console. It doesn't lock them all. So what you would want to do, let me go ahead and enter my password there. What you want to do is do VLock space dash dash all or just a single dash and A. And that locks all the virtual console sessions. You see you get a different message here. It now specifically states the entire console display is now completely locked. So if I go back to TTY4, you see that session is locked. Of course, TTY3 was also locked. If I go to a new TTY, uh, TTY5, even though I wasn't logged into it yet, it's locked as well. So let me go ahead and enter my password and unlock everything. Uh, but the command you probably will want to use with VLock as far as the flags and options, I would recommend is the dash A flag for all. I would also give it the dash S flag to disable the sysrq key which is sometimes called the magic sys RQ key, right? It, it's a key in Linux. You guys, if you have a full 110 keyboard, you probably see that weird key, the sys RQ key. What does that do? Well, that key on Linux, what that does is it allows you to perform various low level commands regardless of the system state. So if your computer is hung up, you know, it's frozen or something, the sysrq command can allow you to still run some some commands, some low level commands. Well, you you want to disable that function, obviously, if, if you're going to the trouble of locking out your virtual terminals, you also want to disable that key. And that's what VLock dash AS is going to do. And now all the virtual terminals are disabled, sysrq is disabled until you hit enter and enter 
your password. So a rather simple command. There's really not much to it. And I know a lot of people are going to wonder, would they ever have a need for it, especially desktop Linux users? Um, how often do you drop to a TTY and then want to lock out the session? You know, that, that's mainly for, I don't know, system administrator types probably would find VLock useful. For those of you in graphical sessions, you're, you're just a standard Linux desktop user. How do you lock out your graphical session? Well, these are, you know, basic things you're probably already doing so typically if you're not the only person that has access to your computer when you're done with your computer you should probably log out right just log out of your desktop environment or window manager if you're using a login manager then anybody else that wants to use that computer would have to log in with your username and password and if they don't have it obviously they can't use it if you want uh, some other safety benefits, uh, some safety features in most desktop environments such as GNOME here. There are settings for a timeout, right? You set a timeout for 5, 10, 15 minutes, meaning if nobody does anything at this computer for the next five minutes, you know, the mouse, keyboard are never touched, then automatically GNOME will lock the session, meaning you're going to have to enter the password of the user that was already in this session to get back in. Now, a tool I like to use on my own system is a suckless tool called S-Lock. So let me switch over to my main production machine. So this is uh, my main production machine running Arco Linux, an Arch-based Linux distribution. And there is a program that I have installed called S-Lock. Uh, let me zoom in here. S-Lock, again, it's a suckless utility. All it does is when S-Lock gets executed, you could set this to a key binding. So anytime you're done with your computer, you just hit a key binding to automatically run S-Lock and watch what happens. The screen turns a solid color, in this case black. There's some configuration you could do with S-Lock, but it's a very simple tool. The screen turns black and now I have to enter my password. As I'm typing my password, the screen turns blue, letting me know, hey, I'm typing. And then when I hit enter, it unlocks the screen. Now, if I had typed a bad password, then when I hit enter, the screen would have turned red to let me know wrong password. <laughs> Retype the correct password and hit enter. So that is S-Lock, a very simple screen locking utility. I did a video a while back on S-Lock, so go check that out for more details about that particular application. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. And of course, I'm talking about Devin, Gabe, James, Matt, Michael, Mitchell, Matt, and Paul, Scott, Wes. I got them all out of order. Alan, Chuck, Amanda, Angry, Dioka, Dylan, George, Lee, Linux, Ninja, Maxim, Mike, Erjan, Alexander, Peace, Arch, and Fedora, Polytech, Red, Prophet, <laughs> Stephen, <laughs> Willie. I, I messed that up, but hey, I want to thank each and every one of these guys. They're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon because without these guys, this episode you just watched would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen as well. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now. These are all my supporters over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. It's just me and you guys, the community. If you like my work and you want to see more videos on Linux and free and open source tools like VLOP, please subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace. I never bother locking my desktop. I use Xmonad. Good luck cracking that nut.